morning everybody sorry if you can't hear me it's uh, absolutely freezing so I've got the, uh, the heating on hope you can hear me uh, it's Tuesday today so if you watched yesterday's video uh, that ended on the Monday um, so today I've got some solar panels to clean so probably need scaffolding uh, I've got some gutter to do afterwards and then a load of other stuff to do this video will probably be about two or three days worth of work so uh, yeah stay tuned right what's going on here Right, I need to load some stuff for the van and then head to work. So yeah, half eight in the morning, let's go. just took me an hour to do four panels and they were they didn't even come up that nice so I haven't charged for that job yet um, I've just said look I'll reschedule it I might need to make a few phone calls and see what I can do um, so I ain't gonna charge for a job that's that looked like that even if all of the rest of the panels came up the same as that I ain't charging for that it, it did not look good at all um, I'd probably say a 50 60 percent improvement it was if they're still litching on it I haven't done my job so um, yeah no money out there now I've just come to this gutter job uh, and let me show you the street that we're on all double yellows along here this is all private parking uh, with bollards up so I can't park anywhere in there without blocking the drive and then behind me as well the other car park more private parking and if I parked anywhere I'm gonna be blocking people in so I can't actually get to this job which is frustrating I mean as you can see people are literally parking on the pavement but um, yeah I don't really want to be parking my van up on the pavement all it all that takes is someone to take a picture of it obviously it's all sign written now and say look at this moron parking on the pavement so uh, and give me a bad name so it's just a small go job as well which is annoying I'm going to try the next street over may maybe um, but yeah oh well so today it looks like it might be a write off um, so I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow damn it okay so I forgot actually before I call it for today um, I've got a quote to do uh, not too far from there it's actually so I'll just take you through I can't actually get around the back I think he said um, so it's a roof clean um, of these tiles, what are they called again? They're not bold rolls are they? I uh, can't remember the name of the roof tile anyway, but quite a lot of moss. Um, so the main thing I look at is the type of tile, it's a nice concrete tile. So perfect job for a scrape, or perfect job for um, a bit of a hot wash slash steam clean as well. Um, so I'll offer both options, whatever the customer says, I will, uh, whatever he prefers I'll do. Um, typically I charge around £10 a metre squared for a scrape and biocide job. Um, that's just removing the moss um, with scraping tools and applying a chemical and then it'll be about 12 to 13 pound a square meter for steam clean so a roof like this it's probably about 75 square meters so i'll be about 750 pound uh all in for a scraping bio and probably something like 900 pounds um for a steam clean or hot wash second thing i look for is access so per you can't actually get better access than that um, so very happy about that. Oh, and before I forget one last thing, you may see a wire running down there. That is always something to watch out for and be mindful of. Uh, that's just a telephone wire, so perfectly safe um, to be sort of working around. It's not a live electric wire or anything like that. Um, so those ones are perfectly fine to do, but always triple check. Always make sure you know. Um, it's one of the main things I always look out for.
Okay, so this elevation seems to be a pretty nice difference there. Still a tiny bit of staining, in, but um, I mean, there's a nice difference there, isn't there? So yeah, a bit of a tricky one, really. Um, can I reach the front at all? I, um, it's mostly green on this as well. I think that will come up really nice. Maybe a bit tricky to get to who this is, especially with the road here as well. I'll probably have to get a permit to put my scaffold in um, on the pavement, I think. Right then, folks, it is, uh, what is it today? It's Thursday today. It's half nine in the morning. Uh, I think we got here at half eight. Um, so we're all set up and ready to go. That's the roof, as you can see. Load of moss on that, pretty cold day as well. It's a bit frosty up there. Um, but yeah, so we're all ready to go. Get set up. Oh, the machine's not working, why not? Uh, it's only gone and bloody froze overnight, hasn't it? So, um, sorry by a busy main road here. Um, so there's a bit of ice in there, uh, we think anyway. So I don't know how far in it goes. Um, so I've pulled some warm water over it. I'm just waiting for someone to call me back to find out what we can actually do. Yeah, I think it's just gonna be a bit of a waiting game. I don't know if you can see in there. There was a little bit of ice in there, so I presume there's probably a lot. But I actually turned the machine on and it just didn't fire up. It went obviously indicating a blockage. So see how it goes, left hand ground for a minute. Um, probably half an hour or something, and then hopefully, uh, we can uh, we can get going, but we'll see. It is cold. Look at my nose, guys. You know, I was gone about my red nose. It gets worse when it's like this. Um, hopefully, that some of that is recorded. It's so cold, my GoPro just keeps turning itself off. Um, yeah, the front's done. It's raining and snowing and sleet is absolutely ice cold. My fingers are like 
completely numb. Um, yeah, I didn't know that was coming today, otherwise I would have rearranged this one. Um, but yeah, anyway, front's done, so I'm hoping it's a better day tomorrow and then we can finish the back and I'll put the treatment on the roof as well. Uh, but I'm really pleased, so first time uh, using that setup on a roof like that. Uh, very happy. Um, it looks great, like there's not much more I can say about it. It just cleans it all up. It's a little bit on the slow side, um, but I am getting used to it and, and trying to figure out little techniques and stuff. Um, you know, I was thinking, oh, I, I could have scraped this quicker and by sided, but for one, it wouldn't have looked as good. Um, and for two, I couldn't have scraped it today because it was frozen. So that's why I think it's been taking me a while because the, the moss is completely frozen in there. Um, so Kev's just out there clearing the gutters now with the uh, Skyvac Industrial uh, Lifesaver again. Um, we've, we were having that run in for most of the day so far. I mean, it's only half, 20 past one. Um, what is it? Yeah, 20 past one. Um, so we've had that running most of the time and that's been sort of collecting a lot of the water and the mud that's coming down off the roof going through that machine and then emptying it sort of down in the path um, and all the dirty water into the road so that's been the plan there um, however it kept tripping the electric because we've only got access to sort of one set of uh, plugs um, and it's two you know the Skyvax 240 volts and the VTUF is 240 volts so that's a lot of voltage going through them so it keeps tripping it um, so yeah I just turned the machine off and he's finishing up the gutters now. I'm just going to rinse up the whole front of the house down, tidy up all the mess we've made around the front, chuck the scaffolding around the back, and then head off home uh, and have a nice hot bath. Gosh, it is cold, seriously cold. Uh, didn't help that I didn't wear a. I've got all my waterproofs on. Okay, buddy, I am. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've just got a hoodie on, not a proper coat, so all the snow has been seeping through into my into my uh, bare back. <laughs> but yeah, right, nice one guys. I will uh, catch up with you in a bit, whatever I'm doing next. Folks, sorry about the wind and the uh, traffic noises, but uh, there's the street view. Uh, we're just finishing up giving this all a quick pressure wash. Um, so to put it into context, that's how the roof looked before. It was actually a little bit worse than that. Um, that's a new roof, and then that's a roof that's been hot pressure washed. Um, so, I mean, incredible difference. I mean, you're never going to get a brand new roof, but that's as close as, as you're going to get. I think that looks amazing. Obviously, those, these are just a basic concrete colour. That's concrete tiles that have been painted, but that paint won't last forever. So. Um, eventually it will look like this um, or like that if it doesn't get cleaned um, but yeah there you go really pleased uh, so I'll tune in tomorrow uh, with the back of this and then probably a few more things as well so yeah nice one